You know you're off to a bad start when the person of the parcel pickup point tells you that the bottom of the box was already open. You look in the box and see that there's literally no packing material. So today we will be discussing and looking at what is in this box. I won't be needing a knife as the box already opened itself. Ah, the sound of rattling plastic. Always a good sign. Let's lift it out. It's wrapped in a bunch of layers of bubble wrap, which I will now begin to peel away. I. That is definitely not what you want to hear. Moving on, apologies for the AC in the background, it was a hot day. It sounds like a lot of tiny pieces moving about. I'm not cutting in this footage so we can all relive my agony opening this parcel. Well, opening is not even the right word as it was already open. Ah, a trash bag. Is this a suggestion of the packer what to do with the item inside? Okay, I've never seen anything like this before. This is not a computer, no, this became a jigsaw puzzle. A 10D 1400 HD jigsaw puzzle. Oh my god. Digging through the garbage bag I found more little plastic pieces and loose keycaps. On the bottom we can see the speaker is hanging on with a broken piece of plastic. The spring of the keyboard appears. This is a 10D 1400 HD I got from the Dutch version of eBay. Full disclosure for 30 bucks and I knew that it had some damage to the bottom as you can see here on the pictures from the original listing. But we will find out later that there is way more additional damage. As the whole side came off, and when I opened the laptop, funnily enough the snap still holding the screen down, we can see that the corner of the keyboard is now damaged. The keyboard appears to use an interesting key mechanism with multiple parts, of which some appear to be gone. Oh, we can just lift the top. No screws, so probably was already loose. That's something that I've seen more often. Lifting the keyboard shows more of the damage. It is quite the compact machine. The computer requires 12 volts center positive, so I got out a power supply and decided to try it here, as uh, I think we cannot damage this computer even more. Oh to my surprise, the backlight lit up and the floppy drive made a sound. This didn't really show up on camera though. I used a 2 amp PSU but wanted to see what would happen if I used a 6 amp supply. I believe the computer will take what it needs. Also the computer has a RGB connector on the back, so I want to see what that outputs when I turn on the computer. I'll use my CGA to SCART adapter which also should work with RGB I believe. While testing I felt that this chip was getting a bit hot. An Intel D8087 coprocessor. Pooh, 44 degrees Celsius. No output when I try the adapters. I tried to put some of the pieces together. Maybe gluing this thing will be an option. Although maybe mounting this in another case can also be an option. By the way, my desk is covered in tiny plastic fragments. Not sure how that happened. Suspect maybe because it was brittle of old age. 
but also fear that that might make gluing an undoable option. The archivist in me saw a good opportunity to archive the ROM chip, so I removed it and used my T48 to read it. That file is of course available on my archive site. Later I tried the machine again. In this light you can see the backlight a little bit better. In addition to the splotch on the screen, the keyboard appears to work as Ctrl Alt Delete restarted the system. I tried an RGB monitor, but that also didn't give a display. So more activity on the floppy drive and a hard drive. I suspect the hard drive needs a bit of lubrication to get spinning again. Of course I'm optimistic thinking it might be able to boot. In addition to that I think the floppy drive might be in need of a new belt. My first step, moving on with this computer that looks like it was in a car crash, is to remove the motherboard and try to reset the chips and look for broken connections, as this thing clearly took a tumble. I'm not sure what to think of this. I hadn't the highest of expectations since it was already damaged, but never suspected the computer would arrive looking like it exploded. Since I feel that this laptop is not fully written off, meaning the parts, not the case, I fear the case is written off, when it comes to the parts I still think 30 bucks wasn't too bad for this, as it got me some spares, a hard drive, floppy drive and motherboard. When it comes to the seller, I got something from them before, also without any additional packing material. I won't be complaining to them or anything or seek to get a refund, as that is not how the Dutch version of eBay works and also because I feel like that is part of the gamble of buying old computers. Oh, and the digital conversation with the seller was well-mannered and went quick. What I will do, as the real tough guy that I am, is give them a two-star review. And you? Yes, you? I'll thank you for watching this video of me opening an exploded computer.